Siamo a Barcellona per la seconda edizione dell'ISIAT, l'International Symposium of Intraarticular Treatment. Qui si è parlato molto di acido ialuronico, ovviamente, ma anche della possibilità di usare nei pazienti con artrosi il, i corticosteroidi e quindi quando usare l'uno o quanto usare l'altro. Un'informazione um, molto nuova invece ci è arrivata dal Canada, dal professor Petrella, professore della Western University di London, appunto in Canada, che invece ha presentato uno studio su un prodotto innovativo che combina acido ialuronico con corticosteroidi a basse dosi. Si tratta di microsfere che vengono appunto iniettate e che liberano l'uno e l'altro componente. Sentiamo appunto più in dettaglio di che cosa si tratta. Uh, Professor Petrella, which type of study did you perform and first of all, why you decided to combine the two drugs that you decided to study? Well, we heard today in the meeting that the options for patients are really quite uh, diverse and we know that corticosteroids are very effective very early on in treating the disease, but the long-term effects are not very good. Uh, beyond four weeks, we really don't get much of an effect. We also heard that hyaluronic acid is very good, but the immediate effects are lacking. In, fa in fact, we get more of a longer-term effect where the, the improvement in pain and function is really up to about six months. So the idea of combining both in a single injection has been something that people, clinicians, have talked about for quite a long time. This was an opportunity to look at a very important technology breakthrough, being able to produce hyaluronic acid beads. And within these beads, you can actually deposit many different drugs. And in this case, it'll be corticosteroid. The benefit of having this particular bead is that not only do you have a corticosteroid, but you can use it at a very low dose so that the effect is very much sustained over the long term without having the high dose and the adverse effects related to that high dose. In which, in which type of patient did you decide to, to study the product? This study was looking at the very uh, much the, the, the regular patient in clinical practice, patients who have what we call grade two and three disease, the majority of patients who have pain and mobility dysfunction. Patients were recruited over age 18 all the way up to age 75. We we're looking at patients who had pain primarily in one knee without pain in the other knee, and we looked at a number of different outcome measures, including pain, mobility and function stiffness related to the Womax scoring scale, but also uh, important evidence regarding the safety of this particular product. The products work in terms of uh, any adverse events during uh, the injection as well as after the injection. And the final question, but the most important one, which are the results of the study? Well, the results of the study are interesting. Uh, we were able to show, and this was a very small study, a preliminary study, because we will be actually following this with a much larger study now that we know that there are signals of, of effect there. We found that compared to a gold standard injection of hyaluronic acid, a product called Synvisc, that our product, a combined product, performed actually better than that product, not only at two weeks, that would be the effect of the corticosteroid, but also at 26 weeks. There was a greater responder uh, response in terms of the efficacy at 26 weeks. So this is very encouraging to us that not only can we provide patients immediate relief, but also longer term benefit. And the idea is to make larger study now? Yeah, what I'll be talking about this afternoon in my presentation is that we are currently in the plan of doing a larger patient study uh, of over 500 patients in Australia and Canada looking at the true efficacy and the importance of this study more than the previous study where we're looking at basically the general kind of patient who came in. We'll be using what's called a flare design. This is a design where you have patients actually get a certain degree of discomfort so that all patients are actually the same in terms of their pain levels as they come into the study and we'll really be able to look at the real benefit of the study medication on the change in pain more immediately and consistently across the different groups. You are uh, positive about uh, the result that uh, could, uh, could as a clinician, came out? As a clinician, I'm very encouraged because this is something that we hear a lot of physicians want. As a patient, uh, I think a patient would benefit in terms of being able to have more pain relief early and long-term benefit. And as far as a researcher, yes, I think these are the kinds of studies that we need to do. Randomized studies of effective therapy, evolving therapies compared to the gold standard.